Compressor Guru. I don't normally do episodes like the one today, but this is a personal pet peeve about airline piping. I have seen a lot of videos of guys trying to get the 50 feet distance that is recommended by some piping professionals to let your air settle down and have some water condense out of it. And they do it by zigzagging the uh, pipe directly uh, on the wall next to the compressor to get uh, some or all of that 50 feet. But they do it wrong. Let me show you a drawing of a wrong situation. As you can see from these drawings, these pipes, they run vertically up and down the wall. They come out of the compressor and go to the wall and up and over and down and over and up and over. And every time they get to the bottom, you got to put a valve in. And I have one customer that did this and I asked him how often he drains his tanks. He's like, you know, he's like, oh, I, I drain those out once a week or so. And I get a little bit out of each one. And... You know, it, it works, but he's not using gravity to his greatest advantage, and it would have been more economical to run the piping uh, horizontally, start at the top, over, down, over, down, over, down, like in this picture here, and then at the lowest point on the bottom, you put one drain valve, then you go over to your shop, whether you have to go back up or way up if you have an overhead loop. But that's when you go to the shop. So that's just one point of these type of uh, manifolds. One more thing about this is you'll notice that I drew in a flex hose. By the way, I'm the artist on the drawings. Uh, no, I'm that bad. Thank you. And, uh, but I put a flex hose and you always want to have a flex hose coming off your compressor, especially if you're going to a black iron pipe system. Uh, this will protect the welds on your compressor from breaking from the vibration because if you run your pipe to the wall and make it solid, uh, you, ha you stand a chance of breaking a weld in the tank from the vibration and the uh, pipe being bolted to the wall. But so you want to put a flex hose in and seldom do I see guys using flex hose. And these guys, they're all over the internet. They've, there's all kinds of guys showing you how to build these manifolds, but almost every one of them do them vertically. This is the smart way to go. Put a flex hose in and there's a couple more points to the right way to do this, and I got a bonus point for you, so stay tuned to right to the end of the episode, short episode, so you don't have to stick around long, but I have one more pet peeve I want to address. So here's a side view of that compressor and the red pipe going to the wall uh, is your wrong way of doing it. Um, and it doesn't really show it whether it's vertical or horizontal here, but uh, the walls in brown, and I didn't realize they looked this close when I was drawing the picture, uh, but the wall is upright. The pipe is going to the wall, and you notice there's no space on the wall. What you want to do is you want to put some spacers out there. Uh, so when you run your horizontal tubing, you give it some room between the wall and the pipe so that the airflow helps you with that cooling effect that you're doing, building this manifold for. So I told you one, you know, there's, there's your uh, tips for the day for what's my pet peeve about these manifolds. They always make them vertical and they really should make them horizontal. Um, and set them out from the wall, use a little spacer, a couple places and, you know, set them out from the wall. But here's my other pet peeve. I got a phone call from a customer the other day and he says he's going to run a new pipe in his shop. What's he, what do I think about running PEX? And I said, don't do it. 
And he says, okay, that's all I need to hear, but let me give you the, the thought on this. Uh, Peck's 180 pound, but you got a compressor that's capable of making 200 pound of air. So the certified pressure on the pipe is 20 pounds lower than the certified pressure on the tank. It's cheap and fairly easy to run, but there's other stuff that's cheap and fairly easy to run. Quite frankly, if you're going to run PEX, I'd sooner see you run uh, PVC Schedule 40. Uh, anyway, don't run PEX. That's my other pet peeve. That's the bonus. Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll be back in two weeks, and we're going to get back in the shop. We're so busy. This is what we had time to do right now. We're so busy, it's just not funny. And we've got a bunch of machines. We've got some 15Ts, some sailor beals here that uh, need torn down, need estimates. And we're going to get to them. Thank you. God bless. Thank you for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from The Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.